1965, Gordon Moore first propounded his celebrated remorseless and astonishing law. that technological advances in chip production would proceed such that the density of integrated circuits would double periodically, somewhere between every 18 months and two years, twice as many transistors in the same space. The power and speed of computing doubling every 20 months. It's worth mentioning that Moore stated this not as a law, but as a mixture of prophecy, proposition, and goal, one which so far has been met with pretty astonishing accuracy. If in the year, that Moore first declared it, you had a car that could go at five miles per hour, but which doubled its speed at the same rate as Moore's law, it would now be going at 671 million miles per hour. Here's another way of looking at it. The referee places a drop of water in the middle of the pitch in a stadium, and then a minute later, he places two drops. Then a minute later, four drops. To fill up the stadium would take just 49 minutes. But the startling fact is that after 45 minutes, the stadium is only 7% full. If you're top and back looking down, you might see something happening, a puddle forming far below. Four minutes later, you've drowned. Whoosh, the curve becomes a wall. Even if Moore's law has only a decade or so to go, before it reaches physical limits of silicon's capacity, awaiting us are new materials, indium gallium arsenide, and titanium trisulfide, and graphene nanotubing, and not to mention developments in qubit stabilization that are opening up the possibilities, or maybe I should say probabilities, of quantum computing. My view of the power of the exponential curve, and therefore Moore's law, is that, as Niels Bohr, once said of quantum mechanics, if you aren't shocked by it, then you haven't understood it. <laughs>